Hello and welcome to the new tour of Armas Hartford. Yeah, it, it's it's been a while. It it has. I've been planning on making this video for years now, actually, for, for a while. But due to my OBS having issues with audio and echoing, yeah, couldn't get to it. But now it's here. Yeah. So we start in the um, spawn room on the uh, game. With TP button here, TPs us to the um, dock in New York where she is currently at, and here she is. Yeah, exterior why she hasn't changed that much, besides an open promenade and the lifeboats, and a better nameplate, way bigger, new portals, on single um, gangway door now as well. And a continuous up superstructure. Yeah. So if we fly, so let's get into the um, ship. Here we go. Yeah, we're on top of the ship now. On the top deck, boat deck. Here's her bridge. She has got new interiors, took me a while. New tiling. Basically everything was cored. Her entire interior was stripped and rebuilt from the ground up. Original deck plan in mind. If you've look if you've seen the old Hartford video, which will be linked in the description below. Here's bridge as a separate for bridge. Looking down at the full car at full deck, and she has a lot of lifeboats now. Quite a lot. If we go back here for yeah, the lifeboats. She has got new David, new uh, uh, well in David, new lifeboats, new deck deck chairs and benches on her after deck, after top deck for first class. If we go back here, go into the um, grand staircase, grand, yeah, mid staircase, top deck. She has green paneling for this is the 20s version of Hartford. Yeah, new, new interiors. New, yeah. As you can see, the old one, whereas here is the dome, was the funnel. Yeah, the funnel was moved back, well, forward, because the uptakes right behind the boat deck sign. And the piano is behind the other funnel. Yeah, it's the other funnel, and behind the boat deck sign is the other one. Yeah, she. Oh, what's supposed to happen? Didn't mean to go outside. Yeah, she now has a dome. One of the, the few ships of mine that actually have a dome, because I mean, I like domes, they're, they're nice. And they add something to the structure, but she also has. New stairs, they're a bit smaller, she is way more open in her main staircase. She even has a light shaft that goes from the top deck all the way down to the uh, bottommost deck. Yeah, let's head to A deck. With the uh, public rooms, well not all of them but a few, including the uh, smoking room right here, all custom piling. Everything's basically been remade for the ship, even own tiles, new tiles for everything. Except for here, in a refit, I took out the uh, old tiles here and replaced it with a decal. But yeah, she did have also custom mesh tiles here. They were removed due to lag. But yeah. If you've seen the old video, you know the um, reading and writing was right in this door. Then there was a door down here, right here, where there used to be a barbershop. Yeah, the, the barbershop was con was basically removed due to the uptake being here now, and the barbershop has been way smaller. With the um, reading and writing room 2, it would have basically made it both rooms quite small so I decided in the refit that 
both of the rooms would be combined, but they wouldn't have the intricate paneling, so it would be a bit more modern. So she's got more modern paneling, well, modern paint, new floor, new furniture, all that. Yeah, it, yeah, it's all I can say with the um, reading and writing room. Not much here, but some chairs and a rather secluded four chair sitting area and two desks for four people to write on. Yeah, down here, that didn't change, it's still not accessible. Kept that same from the original. So if we get right here on the uh, promenade, in the original, I always want an open promenade, but the original I messed up and ended up with an enclosed promenade, which I never was happy with, but I rolled with it because I'm lazy. But yeah, now on the refit I decided, you know what, you'll, you'll get a fully closed promenade. No, fully closed, fully open. Because up here was already open. Yeah, it's a promenade, I can't really see much. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can't access here because the mob go there, not even through. She also has, if you have noticed, a deck. The roll deck was also removed and renewed with a nicer planks. But yeah, let's go to the after deck. That didn't really change. She sta stayed much the same here, just. Her cargo holds were removed, and more deck chairs and benches were added here. Her second mast stayed, of course, and due to this, Hartford now serving in an American line, the British, the, uh, the American and British Passenger Steamship Co., which is a merge between Crown Stalin and American Star Travel. She was transferred to America, thus she is, you know, she has a the new American flag at the stern. And her port of call was changed from Liverpool to New York. That's most of the visual changes now done to the exterior. And we're on B deck. Big open deck with the lounge, the dining room, and the cafe. You can still see up to the uh, dome from here. Not really better. From the stairs, but here you, you can quite nicely see up to the dome. Yeah, if we go in here, here is the new lounge. Stayed the same in terms of space, but she now has a great uh, right, couple of what, what a, f a decent furnace. I, I genuinely forgot what it was. I'll remember it, but yeah. The new lounge, new paneling. Actually, no, this isn't new paneling. Well, sort of, yes, but not really. She got the old paneling from the original dining saloon, dining room, not the saloon. It was transferred here because the dining room got entirely new panel, paneling, and ceiling paneling. So, decided, you know what? She'll get the new, she'll get the old paneling here from the old dining room. I was transferred here. With red walls, it, it looks it, it looks quite nice. It's quite open, quite friendly in my opinion. We also got a wooden floor, wood plank floor. Yeah. More lounging area. Fewer seats than the old one. Way fewer seats, only 16 people can be here. But you got the piano and why this open area here? It's for dancing, for if you play waltz for example, you know, but, but yeah, not much to say, it's Hartford's Lounge. There, there isn't much to say if we go back here, we're in the dining room. Yeah, much, much nicer than the original one, with white and gold paneling, for the ceiling as well, a nice bluish blue floor, blue gold, gold reddish floor, and green seats, green seat covers, yeah, mm. oh, I didn't mean to sit down there, but yeah, entirely new paneling, opener, feels way more friendly in my opinion than the old one, 
if we go in through this door, she now has a pantry as well. Big, well, not really big, but she still used the old stuff I made for Hawking years ago now, like 2019. The, these things are free on my profile. You see the three things in the uh, kitchen. Yeah, here we come to the cafe. If you remember the original one, big. It, this is a big, big, big difference. Very big difference. Way, way nicer floor. Amazing new paneling and new seats. New seats, new tables, everything's way better. Even the ceiling paneling is much, much friendlier. It, it feels way better, way nicer, way opener, way more friendly, as one might say. Yeah, the, the paneling was taken essentially from Crown Starline's Queen Victoria. She had the same sort of dot paneling, gold, well, gold, goldish green paneling for her cafe, same floor. Well, not the same floor, there's a different type. Better floor, looks nicer. But if we come out here, we're in the Astern Promenade, which has got more benches, more seating, and you might see these here, these are the signs to no, to keep clear, because she has twin screws beneath the waterline, right here and right here. Yeah. Not much to add there. But yeah, more cowl vents right there and there. And from here you can see inside the cafe, sea deck. So here we have the purses, there, there isn't much here with the purse, uh, it was closed off due to not having an interior pretty much, but you can still open this and use it as a purse if needed, but yeah more seating, and now we see the uh, new portals that she's gotten, you saw them from the exterior already, and if we go behind here, yeah not much, not even panelled, nothing really is here, but a small desk and, you know, the uh, windows. We could open it and use it as purses, which is useful for it still having the purses. If you remember on the original, she had two big gangway doors, now she only has one smaller gangway door. You can see right there, there's the gangway door. Yeah, not much to say it's a gangway door, both port and starboard. And if we're here, can still see up to the skylight from the sea deck. It, it, it took me a while to get the stairs working as intended, as how they look now. It, I wanted to have a light shaft because would have, well, I, I found it silly not not having a light shaft going from the top deck down to the bottom D-deck. But yeah, now we come into the first class area. Completely new, revamped, more 20s, more modern, entirely, yeah. So not much to say, more finer panelling, wood panelling this time, and well, everything is wood panel, but different texture, this is actual wood texture now, instead of a different, but yeah, the cabins, they're identical. As one might say, if we go in here, nice paneling on the uh, top side, well, paneling, basically more decorations here, new bed, new furniture, I've used this desk often, because I still like it, still find it nice, and this was also made new for this ship, new lights, new ceiling, yeah, everything basically from here on was torn out and made new. For the entire ship to feel more modern, more twenties, so on and so forth. Yeah, here we have the lavatory, ladies and gentlemen, over there. These aren't real, they're fake, because I needed something to fill the uh, space here, because right here's the uptake, as you can see for the second funnel. The uh, first uptake is right here. For the first funnel, behind there is the second one. But yeah, that was C deck pretty much. Now, if we go down one more deck, we're on D deck. More seating, still nice and friendly. If you go down here, 
can see the dome pretty nicely, look up the uh, staircase up to A deck. Well, not A deck, the boat deck actually. You can see to A deck, but you can see up to the boat deck. We'll go into the spa area in a moment. First, we'll check out the third class area, cabin class. Yeah. If you know the original, big, big, big difference, very big difference. Because, yeah, the, the old paneling, in my opinion, it was fine for the time in 2018. Now, this is more modern, bigger, friendlier, more intricate, as one might say. But yeah, still nearly identical panels because I kept the uh, round shape in here. Just like that, I want to keep some stuff more original than others. And here we have the custom tiles again. Blue and white. No, blue, yeah, red and white. If we go down here, we have, ladies and gentlemen, again, as a filler for the uptake. I, I couldn't be bothered to make an actual washroom and bathroom. But yeah, if we go down here into D3, we have a full berth cabin, small little mirror and tape, fold out desk, desk table, yeah. But yeah, four beds per cabin, not per cabin, but yeah. We, third class also has a two bed cabin. She has a lighter beige-ish color for the background paneling. Then we have this older paneling, well, not older, but this type of paneling here for third class. No ceiling paneling, just a small border up top and bottom. And yeah, that, that's the standard third class cabin. If we go to D07, here we have a two berth cabin. Nearly identical, same paneling, same style, just two beds instead of four. And the uh, mirror and table being on the side instead of on the board on this side here. Same exact on the other side, just flipped. Yeah. Same here, it's just flipped. Identical. Same thing. But yeah, that was third class. Quite enjoy the uh, new first class compared to the old one. Looks nice. Looks beautiful. But yeah, if we go down here, through this door, we're in the spa area. Mind you, compare this to the original one, it is the same exact area, the same exact, fo exact footprint, but a bit more moderately in size, every room. But you kept the electric bath, one of the few ships on the block shipping to actually have an electric bath from the ones I know. Don't really see electric baths that often. But yeah, down here, right through this door, is the electric bath with more custom tiling. Yeah, same tiling here as on the bridge and third class areas. As you can see from here and second class, these areas were made before the bridge and before the um, smoking room, since those ones have a border around the sides to make it look more refined. Basically, this was one of the older areas on the ship, besides third class, which actually has had a few refits due to lag, obviously she got, in the first refit, she actually got the um, two bed cabins installed, but I, in, in that area I couldn't be bothered to change it out and add up all the same here, because it would have been difficult adjusting everything so on and so forth, yeah. It's, it's same exact area as before. But yeah, electric bath compared to the old one, the original, looks vastly different. Bit better, bit better, more nicer, and more correct in color as well. Still, yeah, it, it still looks nice. Down here we have the changing rooms for the uh, electric bath and all new to Hartford. She actually has a tiny plunge bath right through this door. Here we have the exterior wall, some piping, and a plunge bath. It, it, it goes waist deep, 
not that deep yeah but she has if we look down here through the water yeah I took the time to actually make a nice looking bar nice looking plunge bath because it would look personally out of place if it only had border the border around the top where it's visible and not the bottom as well yeah and if we go in here one of my top favorite rooms on this ship the Turkish bath cool room welcome to the cool room yeah new tiles everything is custom tiled it, it took a while it took a big while if you compare this to the old one Vast, vast, vast difference. One thing stayed the same. The lights. These are the same lights I used in the original one. Just a bit more modern, a bit thicker, and turns the bulb. And yeah. That's that. Oh yeah, the um benches, well the um these things here. Stayed the same from the original, just longer. New tables. And these ones the um these deck chairs were used first on Bodium in Crystal in 2020 and I thought you know what they would look perfect here so so I used them here and it works yeah it, it, it looks good in my opinion but yeah more changing cabins and this would lead you to the uh, further Turkish bath area so yeah didn't mean to sit down again. Funnel was originally right here, a bit more forward about there. This funnel was right here. So the, the funnels moved to make her look, make the superstructure fit because in the original, well not the original, she has a lot of refits. But yeah, the uh, superstructure here was elongated to actually make it look good, make the funnel fit. And back here, the uh, area, yeah, removed it this time because nobody really was using it back then either. So, if we fly around, it's basically shit. Oh, yeah, one, one thing before I forget right here, you see these small little things here? Those are plates covering. Plates were the original windows from the original lounge world. Yeah, I kept the original lounge windows, not the forward facing ones because they were removed obviously. But I kept the um, cutouts where the windows were because I thought it would be nice. And if you can look from the original, you'll see it's in the exact position where they are now. Stairs stayed the same, new gate, so, yeah, patch, bought new winches, yeah, new deck equipment the deck but yeah that's that that's Aramis Alfred I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again on the next tour